Good morning, everyone. I would like to welcome you to this morning's ceremony to honor our academic achievement students. Uh, honorees, welcome, parents and guests, and our student body. Uh, I'd also would like to recognize a few special guests. Mr. Wolleen, our assistant superintendent. Mrs. Damashke, our board vice president. And Mrs. Stoneburner, our district curriculum director. I'd like to thank the uh, custodial staff for setting everything up for everybody. I realize it's a little crowded. Uh, we did get some chairs in here at the last minute to help. Uh, but thank you to the custodial uh, staff. I would also like to thank Kelsey LeVay for the decorations on the stage. And uh, with those introductions and thank yous, I would like to now turn the microphone over to uh, Mrs. Murphy, an assistant principal, who will continue to do several more introductions and welcomes. Good morning. Honorees, parents, guests, faculty, and students. Please stand for the singing of the America the Beautiful, sung by Port Huron Northern's concert choir, conducted by Carly Van Dyke. Mrs. Van Dyke, what a beautiful way to begin our assembly. Welcome to Port Huron Northern's 24th Annual Academic Awards Assembly. 
Today's assembly honors Northern's most successful academic students. These young men and women have distinguished themselves by maintaining a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or above. As we honor these students for their outstanding academic achievement, it is important to recognize two very important groups. First of all, could all the Northern staff members in the gym please stand? As I was just going to say, let's give all these individuals a round of applause. Um, they sit here and are very proud of the students as they receive these awards. Next, would all the parents in the gym please stand? We all know how proud you are. Congratulations. And now I'd like to introduce the guests on the platform with us today. We have our guest speaker, Mr. Michael McCartan. He's the Executive Director of the Community Mental Health. We have Ms. Vicki Ledsworth, President of the Chamber of Commerce. We have Mr. Jeffrey Stout, President, Board of Education. Mr. Tom Shorkey, Port Huronary School District Superintendent. Mr. Greg Wagner and Mr. Mike Palmer, Assistant Principals for your Northern. I'd like to uh, introduce and thank our Assembly Chairpersons. We have our Senior Chairperson, Kelsey LeBay, and our Junior Chairperson, Patrick Cansfield, and our Sophomore Chairperson, Holly, or Holly Assenberg, and all their legions of volunteers that are with us and, and helping us with the assembly today. Now it gives me great pleasure to present this year's junior assembly chair, Patrick Cansfield. Good morning and welcome. The Academic Award Assembly recognizes those students who have demonstrated academic excellence by maintaining a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or above throughout their high school career. This year at the 24th Annual Academic Award Assembly, we are proud to honor 283 students. Of this number, 100 sophomores, juniors, and seniors are being recognized for the first time and will be awarded pins to signify their academic excellence. 96 juniors and seniors who have received pins at last year's assembly and who have maintained a 3.5 or above for the past two years are now being awarded Port Huron Northern academic letters embroidered with the lamp of knowledge. Finally, 87 members of the class of 2009 having maintained that cumulative 3.5 or above for the past three years are receiving gold bars to be pinned to their academic letters. Representing the Chamber of Commerce this morning is Ms. Vicki Ledworth, President. Good morning. It's wonderful to be back at the home of the Huskies as a graduate of Port Huron Northern 1988. We had our 20-year class reunion this summer and it was wonderful to see all, the, all of the friends and the camaraderie that you make here during your high school years will uh, last with you through a lifetime. Uh, the, the Blue Water Area Chamber of Commerce has been a sponsor of this annual Academics of War program for 25 years this year. And uh, we are proud to be the sole sponsor and to recognize all these wonderful youth in our community who will be our future business owners and entrepreneurs and leaders in our community. And on behalf of the 400 business members of the Chamber of Commerce, and our board of directors, we recognize and congratulate all of you. And every year we see more and more students uh, receiving these awards, which is a great testament to the administration, the faculty, and the parents as well. So uh, congratulations to all of you, and I look forward to be, being back here in May. Thank you. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Kelsey LeVay, our Senior Academic Assembly Chair. It is 
is now my pleasure to introduce today's guest speaker. Mr. Michael McCartan is presently the Executive Director at St. Clair County Mental Health. He has worked at St. Clair County Mental Health since 1977 at multiple positions and has been the Executive Director since 1987. Mr. McCartan received his bachelor's degree from Oakland University in 1972, majoring in psychology. He then went on to Wayne State University where he received his master's in guidance and counseling. Mr. McCartan is currently responsible for the administration of a $70 million Medicaid mental health program for St. Clair, Santa Lac, and Lapeer counties. He led the development of an intra-agency agreement between the St. Clair County, Lapeer, and Santa Lac counties for the delivery of mental health services to county residents. Mr. McCartan is a trainer for critical stress management, first responder, and a member of the St. Clair County Emergency Response Team. He is the president of the East China Schools Board of Education and is also on the St. Clair City Library Board and the St. Clair County Criminal Justice Board. Statewide, he is the chairman of the Michigan Association of Community Health Boards Legislative Committee and is a member of the Executive Committee of State CMH Boards. Mr. McCartan has received many respectable awards in the last 30 years, including the March of Dimes National Foundation Service Award in 1979, the National Association of Social Workers Public Citizen of the Year Award in 1990, the Child Abuse Child Advocate Award in 2005, and the Michigan Exemplary Volunteer Award in 2006. Sounds like I need to get a life. <laughs> thank you for uh, the privilege of being here this morning and a special thank you to Kelsey for uh, her specific invitation some time ago. Uh, the theme of today's program is the importance of public service. I'm a strong believer in not only the opportunity but the obligation to provide public service. As the director of the County Mental Health Program, I am by definition a public servant. However, it is not what I get paid to do that distinguishes public service is what you choose to do. In 2007, as it was mentioned, the state of Michigan recognized me as the exemplary state volunteer. Not for what I got paid to do, but for what I had been chosen to do. Why public service? Well, like David Letterman, I've got my own top 10. Number one, it is selfless. It is unconditional giving without the expectation of any reward. It is doing because it is the right thing to do. It is doing because we can and we want to. Some can, but don't, and not enough want to. It is the most sincere form of giving. Number two, it's selfish. It provides internal satisfaction. You always get back more than you give. Every year, when it comes to graduation, I take great pride in watching my under 10 AYSO soccer kids graduate from high school. It is a great sense of giving and receiving. At Christmas time, I have the opportunity to be Santa Claus for the soup kitchen and many programs for people with developmental disabilities, most of whom firmly believe there really is a Santa Claus. And better yet, they believe I'm Santa. You can't manufacture the boundless love that comes from that role. Number three, you learn about yourself. You discover strengths and you discover weaknesses. Who you are is a combination of how people see you and how you see yourself. When you're a volunteer, you learn if you're a good leader or a good listener. Only because people tell you whether you are or not. It is not a skill that you can be bestow upon yourself. You learn what it's like to share. You learn that gifts not shared are gifts wasted. And there are many gifted people in this room. It may mean at some point you have to make yourself vulnerable but that in and of itself is also a priceless gift. Number four, you learn about others. Volunteer activities put you in the company of people that you might otherwise never ever meet. Spend a few hours at the soup kitchen and you walk away with a new understanding of poverty. Work on a Habitat for Humanity building site and you might get to use the power equipment nobody in their right mind would allow you to use at your own home. I once volunteered to play the role of father in the uh, Nutcracker, the performance at Christmas time. 
And it absolutely terrified me because I don't know how to dance. But I had the opportunity to meet some of the most dedicated, talented, young people that I could ever meet. And today I still refer to my Nutcracker family. Number five, it allows you to connect with the disconnected. You can become a bridge for those who believe that nobody cares. You all know people who feel disconnected. It's a lonely feeling. You can become a role model. Any one of you could walk into an elementary classroom and generate an instant connection. You remember what it was like when those high school kids came to your class. You can instill trust, you can instill hope, and you can instill confidence. There is no greater gift. Number six, it is an obligation as a citizen, not just a privilege. As an immigrant, I came to this country from Ireland as a young man, and I have never taken for granted the opportunity that that created for me. I always look for ways to give back. Number seven, it creates a sense of ownership. You protect what you feel invested in. No ownership, no investment. No investment, no ownership, no school, no community, no state obligation. Number eight, it contributes to a sense of community. Participation gives the community a sense of safety and a sense of security. I know by looking at the list of honorees today, and in fact looking in the audience, that there are many family names that are familiar community leadership names. You are part of that legacy. You will continue that legacy by what you contribute and leave back to this community. It's easy to be consumed by day-to-day -day issues, and sometimes it's difficult to recognize that there is an existence outside of ourselves. Number nine, and now for the practical. Public service experience is a great enhancement to any college application. It is often the source of significant letters of support and references. Service to the community is valued by higher education institutions as much as academic performance in many cases. And number 10, it may create employment opportunities. Some employers actually will pay for what you might do for free. It will help employers recognize good work habits, such as being on time, the ability to work cooperatively, and the commitment to task. This morning, I'm in a room filled with people blessed with skills and talents. Recognize them, use them wisely, share them regularly. You are our future. May it be filled with thoughtful, caring individuals who recognize that the quality of their community has a direct correlation to their investment in it. Thank you very much. Thank you for those inspiring words and appreciation of your contribution to today's assembly. Northern would like to present you with this gift. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Dalkey, Principal, and Mr. Stout, President of the Board of Education of Port Huron Area School District, who will present first year pins to the class of 2011. Uh, first, I too would like to thank Mr. McCartan. Thank you. And uh, as I looked over our list and as I look out, among our students and faculty. Uh, I'm very confident that we will have students and parents and faculty that when called upon, they will serve. And my hope is that you will not only do it when you're called upon, but that you will take the initiative and seek out opportunities to serve. Uh, at this time, I would like to read the 10th grade honorees. If you would please hold your applause until all recipients have been recognized. And recipients, what I would like you to do is when you come up, please wait at the stairs, and when your name is called, then come up on the stage and receive your award. And then you'll move back to your seat. 
if the uh, 10th grade would now step up and move over to the steps here and make your lines. It, and it, when you do that, if your line would go back toward the, the door, that would help the people in the front row. Sam Aganaga. Gabriel Armstrong. Aaron Austin. Caitlin Barber. Nick Baxter. Raquel Bayless. Trent Beebe. Callie Bradley. Alexis Cantwell. Sarah Carson. Victor Servini. Emily Soseski. Tyler Corrigan. Michelle Dancy. Alicia David. Tracy Dewey. Allison Corteau. Jess Dobson. Holly, I'm sorry, Tessa Dupes. Holly Eschenberg. Brittany Fagan. This is Brittany. Taylor Forrest. Dylan Forrest. Nicole Jenna. Patrick Godwin. Lexi Getz. Skyler Goodrich. Kelsey Green. Zach Hahn. Eric Houghton. Eric Hill. Wade Holcomb. Heather Holderby. Sarah Hughes. Caitlin Hunt.
Elizabeth Hurd. Nikki Jamison. Daniel Jennings. Georgia Ray Jones. Nicholas Kirby. Hannah Crone. Jossam Kunji. Andrea Langoff. Robert Langoff. Taylor Langoff. Megan Lindsay. Sean Locke. Chet Lucas. Emily Macbeth. Ariel McDonald. Ron Mackinson. Keegan Makowski. Mary Elizabeth Mariani. Bianca Morogi. Danielle Masterton. Melissa McCracken. Mitch McFedrin. Marissa McTaggart. Eric Merrill. Lee Myers. Leah Myers. Andrea Matrink. Samantha Minarski. Ann Moore. Katie Malali. Flynn Murphy. Jeremy Myers. Alexander Nelson. Paul Novato. Spencer Peterson. Brittany Pethel. Jordan Quant. Chantel Randall. Mia Rankin. Tia Redman. Jacqueline Richard. 
Laura Richard, Coy Rogers, Taylin Sawyer, Ashley Schrader. Claire Sicori, Ryan Sarazen, Craig Slingerland, Morgan Smith. Tyler Smith. Maria Sufus. Olivia Sufus. Carly Sullivan. Emily Zen. Sarah Tynan. Lauren Vandenbosch. Kara Ward. Tyler Wessel. Barb Wheeler. Colin Willard. Austin Zimmer. Ashley Zinkel. Congratulations to the 10th grade class that have maintained a 3.5 average. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Wagner and Mr. Palmer, assistant principals here at Northern High School, who present the second year letter winners. Again, audience, if you could please hold your applause until all the recipients have been recognized. And at this time, if the juniors could approach the stage, Megan Alquist. Andrea Beatrice. Danielle Borowski. Parker Branch. Morgan Brensky. Corey Britton.
Brian Brooks. Michael Brooks. Alessandra Calendar. Alicia Campbell. Patrick Cansfield. Ashley Kohenauer. Caitlin Coombs. Charles Coop. Christine Cuthbertson. Sean Julia. Noah Dupes. No, it's not. No, it's not. Adam Dussler. Stephanie Farr. Joseph Finkel. Adam Fogelsong. Aaron Fredendahl. Kelsey Frick. Chelsea Fulgrap. Carolyn Hall. Nicole Hammer. Brad Harder. Jade Allen Heacock. Ashton Hearn. Kayla Orr. Chad Hughes. Sarah Hutchinson. Shia Juwani. Erica Johnson. Chantel Johnson. Brandon Johnston. Mitchell Johnston. Rachel Jokey. Marley Jones. Rachel Kohener. Kayla Koppel. Christy Coppinger. Kelly Kramer. Diane Kurkowski. Lauren Killinen.
Nate Langolf. Ariel Larson. Samantha Lindsay. Aaron Lutensky. Alexis Markalevich. Brian Maxwell. Jennifer Maxwell. Allison McDonald. Chad McFedrin. Amy Medoff. Eric Myers. Melanie Minard. Bradley Morey. Kaylee Nichols. Nathaniel Overholt. Catherine Overly. Krista Pettengill. Riley Pfeiffer. Alex Porritt. Paul Porter. Jennifer Prax. Danielle Rabine. Teresa Rutajczyk. Shana Raymond. Travis Reed. Stephen Remick. Ashley Rich. Sarah Richard. Jonathan Richmond. Nolan Ramzik. Rebecca Ramzik. Lauren Russell. Nima Sadri. Caitlin Sheehan. Michaela Shepard. Kaylee Sherbet. Edward Silver. Hillary Smith. Jenna Sparling. Kelson Thomas. Ryan Tibble. Joseph Turnbull.
Jenna Uresti. Jacqueline Van Camp. Christian Van Rapworst. Elizabeth Wallace. Brooke Ward. Jessica Westrick. Megan Wiley. Samantha Winward Mays. Brett Young. Nicole Young. Kayla Zahner. Congratulations to the 11th graders of Port Huron Northern High School. Now I would like to introduce Mrs. Murphy, Interim Assistant Principal, and Mr. Shorkey, Superintendent of the Port Huron Area School District, who will present the third year bars. I'll ask that the seniors rise and, and come up to the stage. Jacob Aganaga. Adam, Adam Alquist. Alan Alexander. I'm doing this backwards. Yep. I'm sorry. I will now do it correctly. Alexandra Andrioni. I apologize. Alexis Baker. Keith Barber. Michael Basha. Nicholas Beebe. Andrea Bennett. Clara Bloink. Chelsea Borkovich. Casey Bowers. Colby Brooks. Corey Brown. Natalie Buenrosto. Stephanie Burry. Victoria Chase. Brian Cox. Justin DeWitt. Pardon? 
Kent Clark. So who's next on the list? Nicole Dubs. JD Dunn. Henry Eckert. Zachary Ike. Devin Fenner. Mitchell Fernandez. Stephen Fogelson. Bethany Forrester. Jackie Frazier. Jamie Glombowski. <coughs> Catherine Getz. <coughs> Caitlin Graw. Alexis Green. Sarah Haynes. Chris Hopper. Tim Jobbett. Rachel Hightoff. Alexa Kanikowski. Cody Kimball. Amber Cleaves. Benjamin Kleiner. He's not here. Joseph Kane. Kirsten Kramer. Laura Leslie. Kelsey LeVay. <laughs> Trevor Loftus. Jonathan Lucas. Sydney Lucas. Tyler Mahaffey. <whistles> Olivia Mariani. <laughs> Mr. Josh Maxwell. Morgan Meyer. Aaron Moss. Catherine Muxlow. K. 
Caitlin Nessel. Nathan Parman. Nicole Parman. Trina Parman. Caitlin Patterson. Jessica Preston. Evan Redman. Caitlin Reynolds. Anthony Richards. Sarah Roosh. Tyler Schneider. Alexandra Scutero. Andrea Seppo. Oh. It's a good thing we're friends. I think we were at least. Andy, anyway, we'll say this again. Andrew Seppo. Joseph Shevna. Devin Simon. Tyler Slyford. Crystal Smith. Emily Smith. Gonna do that wrong again. <laughs> Zachary Smith. Michael Spencer. Derek Thompson. Allison Zen. Rachel Ulrich. Emily Urban. Brandy Van Lu. Crystal Vermillion. Tyler Wagner. Emily Walls. Nicholas West. Megan Wiley. Matthew Wilson. Avery Wine and David Zimmer. Congratulations to our seniors. Congratulations to all of the recipients today. And I might add, if by chance you didn't get the proper award, please see Mrs. Wilton sometime today or tomorrow. 
At this time, I would like to introduce Holly Eschenberg. She's sophomore chair, and she will introduce our foreign exchange students for a, for a brief statement from each of them. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you Florina Brantley of Switzerland, Bo Kamholm of Thailand, Nina Hachizada of Germany, La Rosaline Jamsawati Pon of Thailand, and Oscar Oyarzon of Chile. Hallo, ich bin Florina Brandlin von der Schweiz. Ich wohne in Luzern und bin 16. Hi, I'm Florina from Switzerland. I live in Lucerne, that's in the middle of Switzerland. Um, I have one sister and one half sister. And our school is very different to here. We don't have the same classes every day. Um, we have 12 different classes and they are fragmented to the whole week. <laughs> and our school time is from 8 a.m. till 3, 4 or 5 p.m. And we have one, two, or sometimes three hours lunch time. And we can, <laughs> we can eat wherever we want to. And we can also go home if we want to. And we don't, we don't have any school teams. They are all from town or the city. And we have all the classes with the same people, so we don't know everybody pretty good. And my school is the biggest school of Switzerland with about 2,000 students. And Michigan is five times bigger than Switzerland. Yeah, that's it. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jaria Kamhom. You can call me Bo. I come from Thailand. I'm an exchange student. Um, my sponsor is Lottery Cup. In Thailand, my school have students about 3,000 students. My school as uh, my school start at 8:30, and students get off at 4 o'clock. We have three season: um, summer season and rainy season and winter. Season. In Thailand, I have two older brothers. There has ever been exchange students like me. They name Bang and Ben and me Bo. At here, I am senior. I am work B lunch at store. In here, you can meet me. Um, I stay with Baben's family. They is very nice. <laughs> they are nice. Um, I have two host sisters. They study in New Life Academy Christian. They are named Kara and Annie. They play volleyball team at New Life. And Finally, thank you so much for Norton High School for bringing me here. Um, I have a question. Um, in Thailand, we famous in spicy food. Do you know spicy food? <laughs> um, please keep your hand if you like spicy food. 
Hi. Um, before I introduce myself, I would like my host parents, Rick and Karen Schmidt, please stand. I want everyone here to know that they're the reason why I'm here today. And I want to thank you for welcoming me as a daughter in your host family. I love you. First, a couple words in German. My name is Nina Heizade. Ich bin 16 Jahre alt, komme aus Berlin, Deutschland, wo ich mit meiner Mutter und meinem Vater lebe. So, what I basically said is, my name is Nina Heizade. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Berlin, Germany, and there I live with my mother and father. Um, Berlin is a huge city with 3.5 million people living in there. So I travel a lot by train, and that's also how I go to school. Um, there are a lot of similar things about the US and Germany, though. But here are some things that are, that are different. In my host family here, we represent four countries. The US, Ecuador, Thailand, and Germany. So just think of Christmas in my house. <laughs> and Thanksgiving time, I'm going to be able to, to meet my host sister, Keisha. She's, from, um, she's living in Ecuador, and I can't wait for that. Well, um, here I also have three small dogs. I go to church, I have sisters, and a big family, including a grandma, who makes me all kinds of treats. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> um, I feel very blessed to be a part of this great school. Thanks all the staff and students of Port and Northern for that. This year will be a special one packed full of memories, new friends, and an unforgettable family. And again, I, wanna, I would like to thank my host father for taking great care of his family, and my host mother for the extra clean house and the clean clothes, and teaching me how to make my bed perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, last but not least, Keisha and Tu for being my host sisters. I would like to say something to the students now. This school has a lot of spirit. It has fun things and great people. So just live every day for each moment in it. And then I want to say a special thank you to my host parents, my grandma and grandpa, Mr. Darkey, and all staff, and all the students, especially Zachary Smith. <laughs> for coming and have a nice day. คุณครูอาจารย์ทุกๆคนนะคะอืมหนูชื่อลาโรสลินเจิมสวัสดีพงศ์ชื่อเล่นชื่อว่าตุ๊บมาเป็นนักเรียนแรกเปลี่ยน
My name is Lalo Salin, or you can call me Tup. I'm the exchange student from Thailand. And first of all, I would like to thank you, my host family, um, Karen and Rick Smith, Keisha, Nina, for the kindness that they have give to me and that they choose me to be a part of their family. Um, thank you for Northern Principal, our staff and the teacher who allowed me to come to this beautiful school. And thank you for the student that accept me as an exchange student. Um, in my country, I'm from Thailand and is in Southeast Asia. We grow a lot of rice there and we eat a lot of rice. <laughs> Most of the food there is spicy, so we like to eat spicy food. And I go to school there by boat. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take about 30 minutes to go there and I have to wear the uniform to the school and take um, 16 different classes in a year. Um, but um, in Thailand they have a like warm climate all the year long so there's no snow there and I'm very excited to be here and see snow. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here in America. I live in a very nice host family. Um, Karen, Rick, um, Karen is my host mother and Rick is my host father. And I have a host sister, Keisha, in Ecuador and Nina exchange student from Germany and we have three dogs and have um, grandpa and grandma, aunt and uncles who love me and always care about me. I feel very happy that I'll be here and um, I've been here for two months and I have experienced so many new things. Um, I went to the football games, hockey games, um, taste the donuts and the <laughs> apple cider, and I like it very much. <laughs> um, so I'm very happy to be here and excited to meet new friends and. I'm very proud to be a part of the United States this year. And um, thank you everyone for um, making, helping making this year a great year for me and Nina, my host sister. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Hola, mi nombre es Oscar, vengo de Chile, tengo 16 años y como ustedes ya saben voy a estar aquí por un año. Those were obviously words in Spanish and my name is Oscar and I come from Chile, a country in South America. I live in Punta Arenas on the bottom of South America so we have snow too and penguins. Uh, I've never seen one. <laughs> The biggest difference between Chile and United States is the school. Like, we have to wear uniforms, I have to have short hair, so this is my first time with this kind of hair. <laughs> and we go to school in the afternoon till 6.20, so the best part of everything is that we don't have homework, and we have some afternoons free. Uh, I, I have recess in a day and I can do what I want and teachers come to me I don't have to go to their classrooms 
and uh, I like school because like they say you can feel the spirit and I love junk food like McDonald's and all those stuff <laughs> and you're very nice people and thanks. That's all. Thank you and congratulations for your fine speeches. And uh, I hope that we meet all of the wishes that you have here. I, I know the one about snow, for sure we will meet that one. I hope that your stay here is, is a good one. I'd also at this time like to compliment the student body for being well behaved in this assembly. And at this time, I would also like to ask you to remain seated uh, because we will have some movement here, but students, you will be second. Uh, to all the recipients and their families, congratulations. Uh, and that congratulations contains pride for what you've done and encouragement for you, con for you to continue Also, I, at this time, I would like to let the parents know that, and the recipients that there will be a reception in the cafeteria. Students, please remain in your seats in the bleachers. At this time, the parents... Well, first off, let me do this. I want to thank everybody, which I did here, but I'd like to thank everybody right here, too. Thank you very much. Okay, now, parents, and please use both, well, actually all four exits, but most of you are on this side, this exit and that exit to go to the cafeteria at this time. Students, please remain seated.